So it's Sunday afternoon, uh, 9th of October, and yesterday we spent a good bit of time uh, up at the orchard, collected around 300 kilos, I'm estimating, uh, of apples, and um, there's so much up there, we're, we're never going to use it all, um, but plenty for what we need to, to make cider and uh, maybe some juice, get a pasteurised and bag in a box. But uh, after all of that, I went a little bit further, uh, with the, well, the mill, not so, um, but with the press, so that got a, a paint job uh, with this special food grade paint, the Kelterlac, uh, which is really strange stuff, but uh, yeah, covers well. Uh, I might do another coat just to be extra sure and uh, give it some loving care. And today, although it's Sunday and people frown upon that kind of thing here, I'm uh, going to do a bit of work on the basket, so we hosed it off uh, with the pressure washer and all the mud and stuff that had been coating it has uh, gone which is fine uh, but me being fussy I want to take all of those staves off uh, sand them down and maybe uh, dip them in something to uh, to make sure they're really clean either caustic or something and uh, make sure it's a nice finish the base uh, I think I mentioned in the last video it doesn't look the best at all so um, I might give it a standing just for the heck of it but uh, I think I'll, I'll make a new one out of uh, oak floorboards uh, and try and replicate exactly the design. So yeah, that's today's job. Uh, we're going to start now taking them apart. Sander's ready and I'm uh, going to get my son out to give a hand. And uh, let's see in a few minutes, uh, a few minutes, it's going to take a while, in the next video segment, uh, how it looks. So we're about four and a half hours later <laughs> and I uh, kind of knew things wouldn't be as easy as they might have seemed. But we managed to get the baskets taken apart, uh, the two halves, and uh, some of the screws are a little bit resistant to turning, uh, despite the magical use of uh, oil. And um, yeah, I didn't want to destroy them, so I kind of left them there. But this one there, um, the bands have been kind of sanded down. The staves that uh, wouldn't come off have also been sanded. And uh, the second one is uh, in between, let's say. There's a couple in that one that wouldn't come out. And uh, maybe just to show kind of before and after. So these are the staves I've just taken off the one that we just last saw. And despite having been washed with the pressure washer and all that, um, you know, I mean, this, I don't know how old the things are. And uh, one end in particular is, uh, let's see, you got this black residue. And that's where during the floods that was probably sitting for quite a while in damp mud. Uh, but the use of the orbital sander, and they come up pretty good, I must say. Um, yeah, what can you say? Okay, maybe that could be filled or replaced out, but most of them are pretty good. Uh, really solid, nice oak. And the only thing that needs to be done, I think, is the, the top end is, is pretty good. So we sand them and it's nice and clean. And the bottom end that was sitting uh, in the dampness... Uh, if it focuses, you can kind of see it's a little bit raw. And what I'm going to do is, I uh, won't do that today, I'm going to get the chop saw out and uh, take off like five millimetres off the end of each stave. And uh, that'll be a nice clean end on them. So I'm going to park it for today. Um, tomorrow, uh, after work, I'll uh, sand the rest of them and uh, then get out the hammerite paint and uh, paint the bands and leave that uh, overnight to dry and I can start putting the thing back together again. The other bits, uh, maybe I'll do that tonight <laughs> if, I, if I feel like it. Uh, so the, the gears, uh, they wear a nice green. Uh, I've got a dark green. Um, so I might paint them or I'll just do it all in one go. Anyway, that's where we are at the moment and uh, tomorrow's another day.